that actually owned this gigantic castle. See how big this structure is. But I find it weird that the it was to make me consider that like yeah. how much information has been lost over time. I mean, if you go to Egypt, the pyramids. In today's video, we are going to be exploring Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In particular, we are going to be reacting to a particular structure in the game, Colossus Palace. So it's actually an iconic structure in history. So we are just going to be looking at how the game depicts this structure and its property. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Okay. From the video, we will start by locating it on our map. If you are familiar with Assassin's Creed, they always give you a map to be able to find locations. So let's mount our horse. And let's head right to the location. This game is actually a very kind of historical game filled with a lot of historical information. So if you have not played the game before, I really yeah. recommend you to give it a try. Guys, if you are games at least. So let's see. Okay, we are hoping through some mountain terrain. You know, sometimes it's always good to just sit down and reflect and think of how did people actually make this kind of things. Like, it's very impressive that you can actually make a simulated world that is so detailed to this level. Okay, let's make some treasures. Now we have officially arrived at our location, the Colossus Palace. Okay, wow, just look at the size of this structure. Look at how big it is. Like, it's really impressive that before even the Greek Empire, like before the Asian Greece, people were able to build this. Because even in this game, it's actually depicted as ruins, so it's, it's like an abandoned place. It's like a, it's like a relic of the past. Yet they were able to build something big. It really used to make me consider that, like, how much information has been lost over time. I mean, if you go to Egypt, the pyramids, they were even built earlier than even this castle. So you'll now be wondering, like. How did humans do this at such an early stage of civilization? Okay, so we are going to do the classic Assassin's Creed Sky Jump. Well, just, just, look at, just look at the details of the game. Look at this red. Although it's red, the guy should have been playing with red. Okay. Legendary Knossos. Cassandra is talking about Once palace to King Minos. King Manius that actually owned this gigantic castle. See how big this structure is. But I find it weird that the, the um, Cassandra actually has a link, a kind of um, telekinetic link with um, Phobos, that is her bed or her pet stable. So how does she used to see the environment from this? It's, it's actually weird. I don't think the game has explained it. But yeah, it's a game, it's a game. It's, it's for entertainment, let's enjoy it. Okay, let's, let, let's hunt, we are hunting. See, see, imagine level 44 goats. I don't know, I don't know whether the goats have been eaten in my life. It's even like level 10. <laughs> Okay, let's go and loot this treasure. You know, anytime if you are familiar with Assassin's Creed, anytime you see those triangular stuff on the loot, you know it's, it's, it's special. That's something good. You see all these drachmia you are seeing, all these seven drachmia. Just for reference. In ancient Greece, a laborer will work a whole day to get one single drachma. So this assassin is actually a money. Like, it's actually a serious money. I can just need some bit. Very, very nice. Mm. Okay, 
nonsense. Okay, let's move this way. Yeah, I hope I hope I hope they haunt it. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's some nice dear mate. Just, just look at the people, like look at these masonry towels that they used. <laughs> this people, so this thing has actually um, like it actually proves one thing I've heard before. I will not say it's my own theory, but node active systems actually can span a lot of distance. Now I'm talking of the architectural part. Like you can actually span a distance without the use of reinforcement like metal. Although it seems like these people actually used wood too. So is wood their reinforcement? Because I'm seeing wood lentil beams. Uh, wooden, I don't know whether I'll call that one ground beam that is closer to the ground. Yes, I can see wooden lentils. Was it how they actually did it? So let's look at this. Interesting. And let's look at this. And let's see. You know, another fascinating thing about Asian Greece architecture is actually the way they did their staircase. They actually use single flight staircase, so it's not like they use like a, this kind of special system or something. Just single stairs, but it's still impressive considering the kind of Considering by this time there were no bulbs, or there was nothing like electricity. But just for spoiler alert, for this game, they actually had the ancient civilization before the monkeys inside this game. So they used to. Is is the game is kind of someone's theory? Okay, you can. I can see the wooden beams. It actually runs through the whole structure. But the question is, how honest, how genuine is this game? Was was civilization this gone this far at that time? Like, was there this much development as from this time? Like, how true is this game? How honest is this game? Okay, well, I can see some wooden columns. Okay, the columns were made of wood. Interesting. This is actually something I will actually take time to research very well. Like, interesting. Let's So uh, wait, are those are those slab are those beams like are those things were those things beam I just saw like wooden beams. So that explains the spawn. So are you telling me that they actually use wood as a reinforcement? Uh, it won't be too far fetched if they actually used it. At least a specific type of wood species. Uh, but this structure is actually very big. Right? Makes sense. Okay. No. 
the physics of this game, like when she's jogging, it's just it's weird in the way. Just looking at this structure, like it actually has something like a courtyard. Do I call it a courtyard or something? But it's like one massive group of structures. I'm guessing this is the hall, or this is the hallway, or more of like. Like human beings, we have really done a lot. Okay, this is even some totally destroyed parts. Okay, but honestly, I don't really believe that they could actually do this before before the Greek civilization. If you if you don't believe like me, drop it in the comment section. Like, this this stuff is too is too is too impressive for that time. Okay, we well, have come back to to the real world. Okay, now let's ride. Okay, I think Phobos is the name of the horse, not the bed. Okay, the bed's name is Icarus. See, see that my horse is good fun. Actually, forgot I made this mistake. In case if you don't know what that um, that indicator is, like that black indicator is, it means a mission is close by, like a, an important mission in the game. But this game is really interesting. Like, you will thank me later if you just try it out. And yes, Assassin's Creed is not telling me for any advantage. I'm just speaking genuinely. Okay, it's confirmed now that they actually use wood for their for their slab. Okay, this is a totally wooden slab. So how do they do these ones that, that look like towels and look like stone towels? Interesting. This is a really big castle. Okay, now we've gone back to the map. Okay, I think this is the end of the video. That was a very pleasant experience. So, I really think, I honestly don't actually believe that the castle was that developed or went up to four floors. I'm actually doubting that civilization could have done that as of that time. But of course, if you don't think so, make sure you drop it in the comment section and also drop another building you would like me to react to. Any iconic building in any game that you have in mind that you would like me to react to. So if you have not done so, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Hit the notification bell. Just do it. It's not that hard. And have a nice day.